Um, a few more areas on um, where we can get the Oma Plata from. So this time we're going to hit it from side control top. So again, um, I know some of you in uni haven't done too much from this position, but Mark's just going to put his hands in boxing hand position so we can take my weight. I'll probably have a cross face underhook. So I'm going to switch um, from control two to control one. I'm going to bring my elbow to the far side and then bring my hand to control this up. This is called control one. Now I'm going to switch my base. I'm going to bring my left knee in to uh, Mark's right hip. And my right foot's planted to make a kickstand. Now I want to get my left hip just tucked in under Mark's right elbow. So the way it's tucked to his body. And I'm going to start smearing it away to create that open elbow with the right arm. Because this is the one I'm going to try and almost not it. Once I get to there, it's the same theme. I'm going to lift my butt and crush him with my butt and I set my butt on his right shoulder and I'll search for this wrist, pull it between my legs and now I curl my foot back and I put the ball of the foot on my mat and we're back into the Oma Plata mount again. So I'll just switch my control, roll over, continue to put the mark down and we're back into the hold. Yeah, one more time on that. So we can hit the submission. People just think the Oman Plat is something that we do from guard. So from side control, top, I have the cross face and the underhook. Probably Mark will have a frame across my throat from here. I'm going to switch from a cross face. So my elbow is coming to the other side. Sometimes it's called a reverse cross face. My hand will block off the hip. So I can change my base and now my left knee replaces my right hand. Okay. Now it's all about getting his right elbow away from his body. Again, sometimes you have people that will really tuck that elbow tight to their body. So it's all about just getting that little profile. So I can get my um, left hip in just where his right elbow is. And I'll start to walk it back to get his elbow away from his body. Sorry. Good. And from there, then I just crush him with my butt. I put my butt on his right shoulder, open my legs, and I'll look for that wrist. And I pull it between my legs. And now I curl my foot back. We talked about putting tension in that arm. And now from there I come back to my knee, push this into my hip, and then block off that hip so you can't put me in full story. Put back into the same thing, one plot of mine. Let me re-roll into the plot again. The shoulders are mad. And this is the four. More time on that. So if you've been here for most of the classes, this should feel um, quite an easy transition. So I switch from control two to control one. Look to get that elbow, that's the detail. If he keeps his elbow tucked to his body, I'm not gonna get this. So sometimes it can become a little bit of a battle. Another thing I can be thinking about is, if I can't get it away from his body with my back to him, I'll do it the other way around. Just to totally confuse you. Sometimes what I'll do is, to get his right elbow away from his body, I will walk, see the way Mark's knees are pointing straight up in the air? I'll put my hip on his hip and walk his knees so they're actually facing away from me. Now Mark's gonna keep his elbow tucked to his body, but when I get his knees pointing that way, there'll always be a little profile for me to sit through and clear that elbow. So the way I'm smearing it with my hip, and then I'll just switch positions and come back to control four. And I start to work. Once I add open elbow, I sit on the shoulder, find that sleeve, pull it in, curl, and then I'm putting weight, push that into the hips, then I'm putting weight in it. Put my hand on the mat. The second option we looked at is the second way into the one platter was the back step. So we just back step. With, the, with my right leg and my left is curling the turn mark onto this belly. And then I have the Omoplata again. Okay, still that guys, yeah?